We made lots of noise in the mountain lion and ran away. That's good. I peed in my pajamas. Oh, no! <laughs> Okay, um, I saw Obama at the White House. <gasps> really? It was not good. There was stuffing up on the ceiling. The whole turn <laughs> Okay, next, what do you feel like you could gain from hearing each other's stories? Different perspectives, definitely. I have not lived for the amount of time that you've lived, and you have so many different stories that mm -hmm. I can learn from. But also, you have so many different things that you're learning right now that I can learn from. So it's not just the stories you can tell me, but the learning experiences that we can share together. Exactly, exactly. I, I think that's really quite wonderful. And there are things that you learn and the things that you enjoy that are out of my experience. Do you feel like you both communicate enough? And what would you change about your relationship? You're definitely the grandparent that I talk to the most, which is really nice because my other grandmother passed away recently and I realized just how much I would have liked to talk to her more with like all my different like, grandparents that I really want to get to know them and I really want to be part of their life because I want to have memories that I can hold with me when they're gone. Through our card game, not only did we bring these two closer together, we also engaged with over 90 users across five generations and in eight user testing sessions. These sessions provided insight on how to navigate breaking intergenerational barriers and designing for accessibility and cultural considerations. One user said, we shared our deepest, darkest secrets, things we have never told anyone before. Another said, I learned so much about other people, even though I thought I knew them well. It'd be great to play with my family. Can I buy this game? We learned that through storytelling, people of all generations are able to connect, to cherish each moment together.